The most important workers at a grocery store are pretty much the stocking staff. These are the people who fill the market with the goods that we buy. You take something off a shelf, they fill that shelf back up. So there's always stuff to sell. You know what's just like that? Lakes. These bodies of water can run low on the fishies that live in them due to those people with hooks, bait, and poles, you know, those people, and environmental issues. But to keep those lakes stocked, technology is stepping in to replenish the fish. Here's Jack Strankita to explain. It's been said, if you teach someone to fish, they'll never go hungry. For wildlife managers and biologists, that means making sure there's plenty of guild creatures for both the natural environment and recreational enthusiasts. One aspect of the process is to transport millions of native fish grown in hatcheries via an aircraft like this one, a Cessna 185 Skywagon, to the lakes that need restocking. I decided to take a much bigger plane to Heber City, Utah, to see how it's all done. And like all fishing adventures, this one starts early in the morning, really early. Thousands of tiny fish are dumped from buckets into the plane to be shot out of the back end into a clear, pristine mountain lake. I was eventually able to catch up with a super busy Ted Hallows, fishery supervisor for the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources. What are we doing here on this airfield before sunrise? <laughs> well, a lot of these lakes are inaccessible by vehicle. The only way to get into them is to hike into them. So to be able to stock fish into these waters, we put them on a plane and slow the plane down and drop the fish out and they flutter down to the water. We do it so that the native fish populations can sustain, at the same time creating a sports fishery. We have seven tanks in the back, so we can do up to seven lakes on each trip. And by flying these fish in these hard to get areas, we're able to drop them where we had never be able to get to otherwise. Back in the 50s, they used to do it with horseback, and now we can do it with a plane and cover a lot more waters and do it quicker. <laughs> the large planes would never be able to get in these tight spots. We're dodging trees and diving down. These guys are excellent pilots that have good experience at these planes that are maneuverable to get in those tight spots. And tell me about the fish. When you launch them out of the bottom of the plane, does it stress them out? They actually do real well. As long as we stock them three inches or less, then they actually just flutter down. We have a high, high survival, almost 100%. Wow. The other component to fish management are the hatcheries, and Utah has 11 of them. This one that Ted manages raises a million fish a year. Tell me, what is a hatchery? It's a controlled environment where we can take fish from either the wild or brood fish and raise them so that we can have a high success rate, so that we can put them out for people to catch and to protect the native fish that are in the area. These guys look hungry. Can I feed them? Yes. Dinner's up. Oh! Oh! <laughs> You'll get a shower. Yeah. I made about 100 new friends. 